Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Plant Abundance here. It was just a short time ago that I shared with you how the berries had fully matured on the plants and once the papery husk started to dry out and turn brown, I knew that the plant was ready to harvest not just for the berries but for the roots. Here's a closer look at what the berries look like underneath the papery husk. And as you can see, each and every berry is loaded with seeds. Now the seeds have more than just one use of growing new plants. They also are commonly used as a substitution for rennet in cheese making. They also have a history of being used medicinally as a diuretic. So what I did is I harvested the entire plant. I then harvested the roots, which to me are the most valuable part of the plant. I then went about washing them and getting them on a drying rack to dry out. I made a video on that process. If you're interested, I'll put a link below this video in the description box. I then came back to the pile of plants that had been laying on the ground there for about three days drying out a bit and I began to strip off the berries. And after about 15 minutes of work, this is what I ended up with. Quite the harvest. I then allowed that bowl to dry out a few more days just to make those papery husks even easier to remove from the berry. And this was the process I went about for cleaning the berries off. The first thing I did was to attempt to just simply rub off the husk from the berry now that it was dry. From there I'd then manually go through and pop out any remaining berries and also discard any of the unripe berries. What I did is simply use an indoor fan to blow away all that dry husk. And by the way, the screen mesh frame that I'm using here to blow the husk from the berries was actually part of an office file tower that somebody was throwing out. I would manually pick out any remaining pieces and that was all there was to it. So here's what I ended up with, and I've still got four more plants in the ground with berries on them. But what I'm going to do now to dry these berries out, and that's how I'm going to preserve not only the berries but the seeds, is just empty the berries out onto these mesh screens. And I've got them elevated so airflow can circulate. And I'm just going to leave them out here now for a couple days to sun dry, at which point I'll gather them up, put them in a mason jar, and save them as part of my seed stock. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. New uploads every week, and I'm always doing updates on all the different projects I got going on around here. So with that, hope you're having a great day, and I'll be talking to you again real soon. Take care.